favorites to win the championship this year. But how about the sleepers? Stephen A. Smith, give us a team no one's talking about that you can see winning a chip. Go. The New Orleans Pelicans. When I think about C.J. McCullum, when I think about Brandon Ingram, when I think about those young thoroughbreds I saw helping them out in the postseason, and then I think about Zion Williamson, a career 25-point-per-game scorer on 60% shooting, coming back healthy, being the man-child that he is, it is the New Orleans Pelicans that is my sleeper to win it all. Michael Wilbon, no sleeper's going to win it all. I'm a, I agree with Stephen A., everything he said about New Orleans in terms of what Yes. You look at now on the floor and go, my God, these, these people have talent everywhere. And they have some depth, too. It's like Jackson Hayes and people. Cleveland would be another team in that position. They're not going to win. No sleeper's going to right. win. But but the Cleveland win Cavaliers either. with Donovan Mitchell and, 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 and the, the team and Mobley uh, and Garland, I mean, they got young all-stars all over the place. They're not going to win this year, but they're going to take down some people and finish, I think, in the maybe as high as the top four. I love both of your choices, but I'm going to take the team that a couple of years ago was in the Western Conference Finals that has the reigning back-to-back MVP, the Denver Mm. Nuggets. Yeah. Jamal Murray is returning. Michael Porter Jr. is returning. When they were healthy, they were the number one trio offensively in the entire NBA. The Denver Nuggets, watch out for them. If they count as a sleeper, then I love that one, too. Uh, You guys all took the ones I liked, so I said Dallas just because I couldn't think of anything else. Luka. It is great to be back. Stephen A., enjoy the time in Orlando. Enjoy the basketball tonight, folks. Mike Breen, take it away. Monica finishes it. Uh, Yeah, can you hear me, Paul? Can we do the Flinettes as they get ready for the regular season? Some of the stars in action. Kevin Durant and the Nets. Ben Simmons with his second preseason game with his new team. Jimmy Butler and the Heat so close to glory last year. And Bam Adebayo, one of the bright young players in the NBA. And good evening, everyone. With Doris Burke, Mike Green on hand, Monica McNutt with us as well. And we're so happy to have you back for another terrific season of NBA action on ESPN. Doris, so many intriguing stories. And maybe at the top of that list is the Brooklyn Nets. There's no denying how talent they can be, how much talent they have on that roster. But they've had their far sh- fair share of drama going on, no question about that. All the stuff that's gone on, they say they've cleared the air. But can that linger as they go forward? I wish you could tell me how much winning they're going to do out of the gates, Mike, because I think winning can go a long way to allaying a lot of the things that derailed their season a year ago. Think about the things that they face. Kyrie Irving plays 29 games because of the vaccine mandate. Kevin Durant only plays 55 games because of an injury. And then in the aftermath of the offseason, he questions the leadership, the culture, the coaching. So many things, so much drama, so much instability. But the fact is this, Mike, if you win... You win with talent, and those are two great pieces to begin with. No question about it. And they have another piece that they're going to find out how good he can be. Ben Simmons could be the perfect fit when you consider what else is on this roster. There's no question about it, Mike, because think back to their weaknesses a year ago. 22nd in defense, a terrible rebounding team. Now you bring in a 6'10 guy who can be a threat and put pressure at the rim. He can speed up your tempo and get you easy buckets and change the way Irving and Durant score. And on the defensive end, where they plan to play him at the five at times, this is a guy who can be cross-positionally a lock-up guy. So anxious to see this young man have a bounce-back year. Play his second game tonight of the preseason. With more on the Nets, let's check in with Monica. Hey, Monica. Thank you, Mike. And, Doris, there's certainly a ton to be excited about when it comes to Ben Simmons. But when you look at the talent on this roster, I can't help but notice two very important shooters as we look ahead to the future with this Brooklyn Nets squad. A healthy Joe Harris and Seth Curry, both who shot. 47 percent from behind the arc in their last series of games i talked to seth a little bit pregame and he said he takes a lot of pride in controlling what he can control and helping to make the job of Kyrie and kd as scores easier by being a spacer on the floor mike all right monica meanwhile their opponent for tonight the miami heat they came oh so close to playing in their second finals in the past three years now they did lose a couple of players and we'll talk more about that they did add a couple of players but they're in good shape because they have Jimmy Butler. Butler's in his 12th year. He's 33, and he seems to get better every year. 
and he saves his best for the most important time. What's amazing about this young guy, Jimmy Butler, is the fact that he can toggle his game to the needs of the team. In game six and seven in the conference finals, he goes for 82 points. Obviously, a guy who puts tremendous pressure on the rim, brings an element of toughness. You need something from Jimmy Butler, he'll provide it on a nightly basis. He's certainly not the only all-star for these Miami Heat. Bam Adebayo is one of the, the best young players in the league, but he's not so young anymore, and he does it at both ends. They need a step from him, particularly on the offensive end. He's been a tremendous facilitator for them, obviously elite on the defensive end, always in the conversation for defensive player of the year. They want him to be aggressive and assertive. I don't know if that translates to these 18 shots I'm hearing about, but certainly more of a factor offensively. And they, Doris, will have another important veteran this year. Let's go back to Monica. Thanks, Mike. And it is the return of Victor Oladipo, who hasn't played a full NBA calendar year since 2017-2018. But guys, I think people forget when he did that, he was averaging 23 points per game, four assists, or five assists, excuse me, and four rebounds, and led the league with 2.4 uh, steals per game. I talked to him a little bit early. He said he feels great. 